So let's take a quick recap of what we've learned about circles, the language as well as the ideas. So let's start with a circle. A circle is simply a collection of all the points that are at the same distance from a fixed point here. That's the center of the circle. Moving on, we have the radius. A radius is simply a segment that connects the center of the circle to any point that forms the circle. Now next is a chord. Let me show you here. A chord is just a segment that connects any two points that form the circle. Now a chord, there's a special kind of a chord which we call the diameter. You see that the diameter is the longest chord that's possible and that passes through the center point of the circle. And this is twice the size of the radius. Now next is an arc. An arc is a portion of the circle. It's just a collection of some continuous points that are at a fixed distance or the same distance from the center point, but it's not all of those points. Therefore, an arc is said to be a part or portion of the circle. Now, when we complete this arc, you see what we get is a circumference. A circumference is just the distance around the circle. And next is the segment. What you see here, a segment we have, this is the minor segment and if a large portion is getting covered, then we have a major segment. Now, what is a segment? It's just a region in the interior of the circle that has an arc on one side and a chord on the other. A special type of a segment is what we have, the semicircle. In the semicircle, one of the side is this diameter. It divides the circle into two equal halves and one of the half is what we call the semicircle. Let me show you. And the last one is a sector. A sector is a region in the interior of the circle that has an arc on one side and radii on the other two sides. What we see here is a sector. This is a major sector and this is a minor sector. Well, so that's all about circles for now. There's lots more to understand about circles. But till then, happy learning.